Hi gang, welcome to the hue, saturation, and lightness adjustment in the Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo 1.7 release. So I wanted to combine Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo because they operate the exact same way in this video. And I think this is a huge upgrade in terms of my workflow. I hope it is to yours too. All right, so we've got this vector image. Now for my photo people, go ahead and skip through until I get to the pixel side. But for my vector people, Notice here in the layers panel, you're able to choose an adjustment layer. Now we've always been able to choose the HSL adjustment. It's a very popular adjustment. And what this does is this allows us to change the hue, saturation and luminosity or lightness of an image. So let's say that we could then put a blue hue or a purple hue to this entire image, right? So what this adjustment now allows us to do here is we can target a certain color. So this red heart, if I want to target the red, I just hit the red, and now these weird sliders appear. Now if I just targeted the red, watch this. I can change everything, right, to a blue, but you see how it's affecting a lot of other things? And why is that? Well, because brown is largely composed of red. So what you want to do you want to take these sliders and you want to hug them up so that only the red is affected. Now my way to do this, because I've been playing with it a couple days, is I make an adjustment and then I manipulate these sliders until my image doesn't turn. You see how my image began to turn? If I just wanted to target my red, I would leave these sliders right here. That's really as tough as it gets. Now, you can turn down the opacity of this adjustment. You see how we added some blue to the red and got purple? If you wanted to make that a little less purple, you could always drop the opacity down and eventually you'll get back down to the red. And of course, as always, you can change the blend modes. All right, so that's the first one. Now let's take a look at this in a pixel image. This is for my photo folks. All right, so now we've got a yellow image here with some red and we've got some green. Those that understand color theory know yellow and blue make green. So if we try to switch only the yellows using an HSL adjustment, we're gonna impact the green. Not anymore, folks. Go ahead, put in your HSL adjustment. We're gonna target the yellow. All right, once we've targeted the yellow, you can go through here, and now you see where your yellow is here? Let's go ahead and do what I just mentioned. I'm gonna take it over and I'm gonna change this up. Now you see how we're beginning to affect these areas here? This is undesirable. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come over to my green and I'm gonna back that out until the only thing that's affected primarily are my yellows. Now if I move my reds, you see how I'm impacting my reds? I may not want my reds impacted, so I might actually scoot those out a little bit that would work. Now let me show you how to do this another way. All right, so we got this. You come over to your HSL, boom, just like that. And now we grab the yellows, but now we grab the picker. And we pick that particular yellow. You see how that just moved? And now we can impact this just like that. We can move it and now we can shift our greens just a little bit. So you can be terribly surgical with this picker the way that you want it. So that's how to use the HSL adjustment in both Affinity Photo for pixel work and Affinity Designer when it comes down to your vector designs. I hope you learned a little bit about the update to 1.7. If you want more videos like this, subscribe to Seven Season Studios. And if you're looking for the best training on Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer, including the 1.7 updates, go ahead and click on the link below for a special offer for our YouTube family. All right, we'll see you in the next one.